Hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to the channel. Or if you're new here, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. So today's video, I'm going to talk about a theory to do with Star Trek Discovery Season 3. One of the main parts of the trailer that came out a couple of weeks ago was this notion of the burn. Something cataclysmic has happened to the Alpha Quadrant, the Federation has mostly collapsed, and as Booker says to Burnham, this was the result of the burn. A day that something catastrophic happened in the galaxy that caused the way of life uh, in the Alpha Quadrant to make a hard left. So what is that hard left? What is the burn? There have been a few little uh, rumours and uh, theories uh, going about on the internet <laughs> since the trailer came out. Trekmovie.com posted an article recently, so a big shout out to Trekmovie.com for that, that I think really warrants further discussion because it really got me thinking about this burn that's uh, happening in Season 3 of Discovery and what might have caused this. And this theory links to an episode of Star Trek Voyager. So let's take a look at some bits and pieces from this Star Trek Voyager episode and see if they might be the reason for the burn in the Alpha Quadrant, which we're going to find out about in Season 3 of Discovery. So in the time of Star Trek Discovery Season 3, 3188, the Federation has mostly collapsed. Starfleet is still in existence. The Federation is still in existence, but they're kind of a shadow of their former self. And it's clear from what Booker has said to Burnham in the trailer that something cataclysmic has occurred in the Alpha Quadrant that has changed everything. And what could have caused that event? The fact that it's called the Burn leads me to something that was said in a Voyager episode back in Season 4. And that episode was called the Omega Directive where Voyager came into contact of some Omega Particles, which was all this a big covert thing, which uh, had Janeway all very hush-hush, secretive, wasn't telling the crew what was going on, because the existence of this Omega Particle is a huge secret in Starfleet. Only fleet officers and Starfleet captains are made aware of it. The Omega Directive is if anybody finds any particles of Omega, that they're automatically ordered to destroy them at all costs. This Omega Directive supersedes even the Prime Directive in the Federation. And what is Omega, you might ask? Well, who better to tell us than Captain Janeway herself? The most powerful substance known to exist. A single Omega molecule contains the same energy as a warp core. So the reason this Omega Directive was put forth in the Federation was that scientists were experimenting with it about 100 years ago. There was a huge accident that like wiped out a whole sector of space in the Alpha Quadrant where basically ships couldn't travel a warp through that area of space. Subspace was so badly damaged through this incident, they had to go sublight. A chain reaction involving a handful of molecules could devastate subspace space throughout an entire quadrant. If that were to happen, warp travel would become impossible. Space-faring civilization as we know it would cease to exist. The Borg were doing experiments with it. They were only able to keep it stable for like a split second before it destabilized. It's incredibly unstable. If a large-scale Omega explosion occurs, we will lose the ability to go to warp forever. One thing that's pretty clear in this Discovery trailer that uh, when Saru was talking to this, uh, this, this guy was a Charidonite, Corridonite, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but he basically seemed to imply that he'd been cut off or the planet had been cut off from the Federation for years. They still considered themselves part of the Federation, but it seems like they hadn't had any visitors, they hadn't had any, had any communications. We are completely disconnected. I've always believed that you were out there somewhere, and that we were part of the Federation no matter what. A huge Omega Particle explosion would basically decimate half the Alpha Quadrant, um, and eliminate means of uh, warp travel, would eliminate communications through subspace throughout the entire Quadrant. One piece of dialogue interested me the most. And that was a piece of dialogue that came from Seven of Nine, where she talked about other spacefaring races that had been assimilated by the Borg. And she talked about one particular race that had been experimenting with Omega and what had happened to them when trying to stabilize it. It began with species 262. They were primitive, but their oral history referred to a powerful substance which could burn the sky. The Federation mostly collapsed after the burn. What's the burn? The burn was the day the galaxy took a hard left. Was there 
something that happened in the Alpha Quadrant where some species, some race, came across um, some omega particles. They tried to muck about with them. All the particles have exploded, ruptured subspace, and throughout the Alpha Quadrant, warp travel subspace communications is no longer available. Wherever you happen to be when this accident happened, potentially people are stuck on their worlds. Nobody can travel anymore by warp, so planets are isolated. What makes the discovery unique? If an explosion of omega particles in the Alpha Quadrant has decimated the ability to go to warp, what one piece of technology sits outside of that technology that would make them special? Well, that is the mycelial network and the spore drive. At the end of season two, the spore drive and the technology surrounding that was kept classified by a Starfleet, never to be spoken about. So we're assuming that no other starships ever developed that technology, which would make Discovery incredibly unique. The Discovery might be old by 32nd century standards, but the spore drive might just be what they need to get the galaxy going again. If the Discovery finds itself in the 32nd century and all warp drive is unavailable due to this Omega accident that perhaps happened, the only way to travel around would be by the mycelial network. So it suddenly makes the Discovery the most important ship in the Federation fleet. They would have the ability to travel throughout planets, reunify the Federation, and it would s suddenly make a very old ship a very important ship. So if this burn that uh, Book talks about is the burning of the sky that Seven talked about in the Omega Directive, I think this could potentially be the event that um, that is spoken about. It's all theory, it's all speculation, take it with a grain of salt, but it sounds plausible. People still believe in the Federation, people still believe in its ideals, people still believe in maybe what it stands for, but nobody can communicate and nobody can travel between worlds perhaps anymore. And it might be the new mission of the Federation and the new mission of Discovery to bring everyone together again and potentially to use their spore drive to do this. But what do you guys think the burn is? Do you think it was a complete accident? Do you think something's burnt the galaxy on purpose? And was it the Borg? They were pretty impressed with Omega and obsessed by it. Do you like the Omega theory? Or perhaps you might have a theory of your own as to what the burn might be. Don't be shy to go and drop a comment in the comment section and give me your take on the situation. As always guys, please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment, to share, click on one of my other most recent videos here. Check out my merchandise uh, and Patreon page. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time for my next news review or breakdown. See you then.